Hello and welcome to class activity number 21. So today we are going to install and manage the Windows Admin Center. So this is a client software that you install on a client PC and it will help you connect and manage servers remotely. So we can, um, you can manage the domain controller or any other server across the organization from your client PC, but you need that client software to be downloaded and installed. So what we're going to do today, we are going to install the Windows Admin Center on our client uh, server PC, and then we are going to connect to our domain controller and be able to configure it from our um, the client PC. All right, so to do to get the Windows Admin Center um, in your lab, I gave it to you the it's called WAC. You can have you can download it from Microsoft.com, and it's free download. I they started doing this in with Windows 2008 release two, and it's been and it's been available with 2012, 2016 server and 2019 and also with the 22 the one that we were doing right now all right so let's get started um you should uh you should have downloaded the software and it should be somewhere on your desktop and um, if you're on my class i'll give you a link to my google drive so you'll have access to it so it's just right here probably oh, this is an old version i got downloaded in 2020 it's the windows admin center okay so it's a free download from microsoft so you'll be able to get that so make sure it's somewhere on your host device because we're going to transfer it to the client pc so the first thing we want to do is you want to go to and boot up the domain controller you don't have to log in just boot it up with that one up first let it completely boot up and then boot up the client, like the one, all right? And then I want you to log in to the client PC with the admin password. So let's do that. So let's go into the administrator. If Otherwise you click on other user. If, it's, if it says something else, then type administrator. And the password is you want to log in with I love server 2022. Remember, capital I, capital S for server. All right, so we logged into the client PC. And so what you want to do is you want to go where and take this, drag, and drop it here, just like I did. You should be able to drop it. Now, if it doesn't drop, that means you have not added, you know, remember these? You got to add the insert guest edition and install that. that. And then when you do that, and that's finally installed, make sure that the clipboard is on bidirectional and the drag and drop is on bidirectional. But you should, we have done that previously, right? In early class activities. All right, so now that we have this, done you should also have google because it will not work with edge explorer you need google website to have access to the remote servers so you have to have google chrome installed all right so um, our first step after you have done that um we did down that so now we are going to install double click on the Windows Admin Center. All right. All right. Accept the items. Click on Next. Uh, Microsoft updates. Check for updates. Don't use updates because we're not even connected to the internet. Click on Next. Click Next. All right, allow Windows admin to modify machine trusted hosts. That's fine. Click next. Uh, we, we, it's going to go through HTTPS to connect to the um, 
other servers, you know, secured VPN connection, SSL connection. That's good. Click install. All right. So let it install and uh, take a picture of this. Put it at the bottom of your lap. And we'll come back when this finish installing. Okay. It was a little bit long, but we're done it. So I'll click on finish. All right. Now the next step we are going to do is we're going to open up Chrome. Let's open that up. It's installed already, so hopefully it will. Uh, So you get to see what's going on. I was trying to connect to the internet, but there's no connection, but it's okay. So let Chrome open up. I think it's probably the first time we opened it since so we installed it. Remember, we installed it as part of that package deployment, if you remember. Okay, it's going super slow now. It, it will be slow, so let's hope this works out good. All right, so this is the Chrome. So let um, let's go into the. You can actually type in. Hold on a second. I just want to make sure. What are we going to do? What we're supposed to be doing? All right, so. So it's slow. So just be patient. Type HTTPS because we want it secured. Colon fun slash fun slash. Now you want to type in the name of the domain uh, of your server, your PC. This PC. Mine is MA. If you remember, the first initials of, of your first name, last name. Windows Server WS. 2K22, that's the naming convention we used, dash SRV, that's what we type. Hit enter. And let's see what happens. Trying to connect. All right, so when you type in the name of your server, HTTPS, and you type the initial name, you know, uh, your initials, MA in my case, Windows Server 2K, and my client, I only have 2K, I forgot to write the 2-2. Two, two, two. So if you have 2-2 two, two in here, I mean 2022, 22, write that down. But this is the name of my, just to show you, this is the actual name that you need to type in, right? The name of your computer. See, I forgot the 2K22. All right? So you're just trying to access the actual computer when you're in your browser. All right, so let me type in the username administrator. And the password is I love server 2022. Let's log in. All right, so um, yeah, let it save it. Why not? Who cares? All right, so it's connecting. So let it connect. All right, so this looks good. That means we have installed the Windows Admin Center correctly when you're getting this. All right, so let it complete the installation. All right, so there is your local server. You can connect to it. Now we need to connect. Let's connect to the domain controller. And I have the domain controller up and running. I'm just, yeah, this is the domain controller. I'm going to log into the domain controller uh, from here. I love server 2022. 
You want to pick out the name. See the name I have 22. So it's M A W S two K 22 dash D C. That's what I'm going to connect to. Okay. So let me go to back here and I am going to click on, um, let me add first before I connect, of course. Now I want to add a Windows server. Okay. Okay, this takes a little while, so be patient. So um, I want to connect to MA Windows Server 2K22 DC, right? And um, dot XYZ dot local, that's where it's located, right? Okay, so it sees that. Uh, use my Windows account for this connection. Yeah, I don't want to use anything else. Um, so add with connections, with credentials. So I, I'll be logged in automatically, right? So let me add that. Oh, it's on a single sign. You know what? Let's just add it without. Let's just add it. There you go. So I added the connection. Now I'm going to log in. So okay, so I just want to make sure. All right. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to try to connect. All right, so I'm going to hit continue. Use my Windows account description. Okay, so um, let's type in the administrator and let's type in the I love. Server 2022 credential, and let's try to connect to it. There you go. You can just click and save or never. Typically, it's for security reasons, you don't want to. All right, so it's trying to connect to our server, the domain controller. And there you go. The computer is the computer name. I'm connected to it, right? And I can see all of it. I want you to take a picture of this to see that you have connected. I put that at the bottom of your app. Okay, so um, let's see here. You can shut it down, you can restart, you can edit the computer name, you can refresh. Um, uh, let's, you can go to PowerShell, registry, remote desktop, roles and features. Let's click on storage. See what we have. Slow, but it's okay. All right, so there's our hard drive, 256. The capacity is 50 gigabyte. Okay, good. Uh, let's look at 
installed apps. Okay, so we have that. Let me click on files. Okay, so there's our E drive. Right? Remember that? We created an eDraft. Click on that. There is the demo folder. You can right click on there. Um, let me explain that first. Okay. Let me explain the demo. Open the demo file. Remember the demo text file that we did on the last exercise? So you, now you have access to it. You can create a new folder in here. So let's create a new folder. And we're going to call it test. Okay. So test folder was created. Take a picture of this. Put it at the bottom of your lap. Let's go to the domain controller and see log into the domain controller we don't need this and let's go to the file explorer folder oh the computer is running really really slow so the memory is heating up like crazy okay i'm going to go to the demo folder in here and i can see the test folder has been created so I did that remotely take a picture of that showing that you are in the domain controller and the test folder was created that's it for this lab you know before we go um, let me double check why is this so slow so do control here go to keyboard Control all delete. Go to the task manager. Okay. Task manager is not showing anything. Okay. Let me explain that a little bit. This is just to see. All right, let me look at the performance. What is eating up so much? Let me look at the performance. The CPU, it's not bad. Maybe the host system that it's missed. All right, you know, we're not gonna get into that. Memory is okay, I have one gigs of RAM. Oh, the memory, see? It's being used up, I gotta increase the memory. We're only using one gig of RAM. So we're going to boost that up a little bit. That's why it's slow. Okay. So on the next exercise, that's the first thing we'll do. We'll increase the memory on the host and the domain controller. All right. So until the next class activity, I'll see you then.